Old men really love digging holes. Yeah, we do. But you know why we do it? Because the young guys won't. All right, I've taken, oh, I'll probably taken a shovel in the breaker bar. I've dug about another four, probably five feet this morning. And every one I dig, it just wants to flow. It wants to flow downhill real good. It's hard to tell, but right about where I'm at, it's going to start going downhill. And the idea is to have all this drain down the driveway. And, uh, I've been digging this out deeper a lot deeper <laughs> you can't tell uh, it goes down a whole lot deeper than this let me see if I can show you so right there we're that deep so that's about almost two and a half foot I think and eh, maybe not that, that deep but it's deeper it's not as shallow or shallower there than it is here. I'm getting deeper as I go. And this is where I stop. This is why this is full of water. But I want to get this dug before I release all this water. And uh, that one will stay there. Man, I just got so many things going on. And what I'm doing is I'm taking that dirt that I'm digging out of there. I actually just started right here. Just, I'm going to start piling up from this end and going back and then this is all going to have to be filled in in here we're going to have to raise this up and uh so you can see where the water's flowing to it's like a big bowl like i showed you before all the water wants to come to this point and what it did is it came around here it built up here and it went into the dog apartment also it's also flowing I don't know if it's coming from various ways, but it the water actually came in from the doghouse into the screened in patio because it did not come up anywhere from there. So that's good, but now I gotta fix this problem, which I you know the actually the French drain ends right here. And it needs to go more. So we, we got more to do. I may have to, like I was talking about, go ahead and put in that second French drain there but man there are so many other projects i need to be doing right now but i can't get i can't keep getting this flooding because it just does more and more damage every time it does it uh welcome to the channel guys i'm out here working beautiful day i'd like to call it the devil in disguise yeah what's mother nature cooking up for us next i don't believe in her anymore she's mean so once that ditch is finished, I believe all this is going to flow out 
because right now that drain's really not to a certain point it ain't doing anything it's just filling up and then if it doesn't have anywhere to go like right now well it's not going to work so i'm going to go to monday pick up if i even if i got to make several trips i'm going to pick up more gravel not this stuff the three-quarter clean stuff and all this is going to be filled in i've got a, i'm going to continue on this until it's done then we're gonna get this all finished up so i gotta get back to work no more yapping let's go We got toast roasting on the sidewalk there. Look at that little girl. Yeah, that's little Miss Toast. You're just having a good old day out in this nice weather. All right, y'all watch this water flow as soon as I shovel this out. Once I've dug it, I'm going to probably have to go back and dig it a little bit deeper. We'll see. I have to get that pipe in there. Because I don't want an exposed ditch right here. Right, let's get that piece. Oh, yeah. She's flowing up in there. It's not easy digging these little narrow ditches. Especially on rock. What I'm trying to do here is curve it around a little bit. When you got curves in these things, it gives it a little more velocity, picks up speed. Plus, that's the closest way to the hill. Right. Following along, that's what I want it to do. It's going to get a point where it's going to fill up to the top probably about right in here all right here's how you know i'm getting somewhere you can see down here how deep that is i'm digging the same deepness all the way to here but now you see the water is almost to the top which means i'm going downhill and a couple more shovelfuls that's just going to go right over and the further down i go the better it'll drain so and probably about 15 20 feet right now here i think maybe another four feet we got good draining but we'll see and i hope it doesn't kick my butt enough to where i can come back out here tomorrow and dig the rest of this out now i may do it today we'll see you can skip ahead to the end of the video and find out all right, let's go over here. Get in the shade for a minute. 
I reset all my GoPro settings. Man, the video has been terrible. I don't know what it was. And then I, uh, the nine is still coming out within bars, but I think I got it fixed. And the GoPro 10, it's been 16.9, which is what you see on your widescreen. Uh, so I think I got it fixed. We'll know on this video. If not, bear with me. Now, I turned off the comments yesterday on that flooding video. I want to explain to you why. Uh, first of all, what after that day, I was not in no mood for much. I was pretty flustered. And I got people commenting, well, you need to go rent a backhoe. You need to go rent bulldozers and this and that. And it, Look, man, if Social Security would pay for that, I'd be out there buying it right now. Okay, I'm on a limited income. I don't make nothing on YouTube. Not much. So everything I have to do is because of income. You know, if I get 100,000 subscribers, I might make enough to do those things. But for now, I'm doing with what I got. And I know what needs to be done. But here's the problem. It didn't give me time. Okay, I had one big flood, and I've heard it from a lot of people. They've never flooded like that, and they've done, had and they've flooded twice in three weeks because we've had unprecedented rain. Okay, I never had this problem until we had them floods, but now that I know they're coming, I got to fix it, and I know what to do. It's just it's going to take a lot of my manual labor. It's just me. That's fine. But that's why I took the comments. I, I just didn't want to deal with them yesterday. And if I'm wrong for that, shoot me, whatever. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I, I can understand if it was I was building something. But it's something I've been working on. You guys know that. And I already know I've got it figured out. i just not finished with it, you know. The French drain. Well, it doesn't work. It they don't, don't work because I ain't done. <laughs> I ain't done with it. It has to drain off. And I don't have that finished yet. That's what I'm saying let me finish i'm working on it but i'm one guy and this is strenuous hard labor on a big old fat guy like me so i'm doing the best i can i mean that part there kicked my butt i was down for three days but we're gonna get there guys so bear with me let's get back to work Noises are necessary. Things get easier down here. Alright, I've reached the point where it starts to go downhill. So I'm figuring another three, four feet, it'll have a good drop. And what I may have to do is dig a little a deeper hole down here uh, where the pipe can end up and then the, it'll overflow and then just drift on down the hill. Oh man, that's some hard digging. But in, as soon as I dig a spot out, it just flows down. It's already basically going downhill once it hit about this point here. 
about right in there now it's downhill so I'm gonna dig it a little deeper going on this spot right here that'll give it a good pull All right, we've reached the point where I think another two foot is going to start flowing on its own. So I'm going to do this right now. This ain't the rough part. The rough part's moving that dirt. Man, that stuff weighs a ton. It's all wet. I'm hoping about right here it'll start draining down the hill. Let's see. Let's go ahead and dig this out right here first. Flows. Y'all didn't think I knew what I was I'd do. I believe she's free. I am gonna go a little further. Boy, that's falling pretty good. That's what we were going for. She's flowing out. Going down the hill. That's the, that was the idea. The further down I got, the less uh, deep it would have to go. The water was rising and now she's a flowing. You know what else is flowing? Little puppy dogs. <laughs> Little puppy dogs are flowing in there. What are we doing? Where's Dirty Nose? There's Dirty Nose. What are you doing, Dirty Nose? No, you're not Dirty Nose. Where's Dirty Nose? There's Dirty Nose. And there's Toast. You guys sure pooped a lot last night. I had a lot of poop to clean up. I did. I appreciate that. Even pooped in your bed. I had to give you all new fresh blankets and I saw everything. Oh, they're not so cute when you gotta clean up the poop. Alright, even though I haven't dug this out over here, it's flowing. You can see right there, it's trickling into there. Even that's flowing back this way, coming into here. And this is neat. needs to be a little deeper. Get out of my shadow. I'm always in my shadow. Yeah, we got that is about already drained up. A little clean up in here. And we are laying we are laying pipe in here, so I'm gonna have to go further back uh, and figure out how to do that pipe. 
I don't really want it sticking up, but I'll figure that out. Yeah. Thank goodness. Now this doesn't cure everything. There's going to need to be a lot of work over here as well. And uh, now I can start, I'm going to start doing this now. I'm going to start digging this out deeper so that this can flow and drain. Because if that can't drain, then there, it's pointless. Because once it fills that pipe up, it's got nowhere to go. So I need to dig this out deeper, at least to this point. And I'm going to cut this corner out a little so I can wrap that pipe, uh, run that pipe easier around it. So let me get busy on that, man. We're going to leave that that way for now. Seems to be flowing good. I might go back a little more, but that's pretty good. Come on around, I got the little poop makers eating. What I did is I've got some Iams dry food that I soaked with water, put it in the microwave for about a minute, let it sit a couple hours. And then I mixed in some of the wet food. Anything puppies eat should resemble poop. Yep, diarrhea looking. Yep. And that means it's good for them and always you want to wash their bowls with hot soapy water before every use because puppies are susceptible to germs aren't you they're digging this they're eating more and more every day so they'll whoop all this down but i'm still i'm feeding them about three times a day now they're digging it they're healthy look at them coats on them little buggers toast you're catching up you're catching up the brother and sisters in size. These bowls are awesome. Because it keeps them from getting in there. Even though the bowl has got food all the way around, guys, and you got your three little heads in one spot. And that must be where the good stuff is, huh? And these guys are doing the same thing. And after they eat, they'll go out and they'll play and run around and you be tired and then they'll sleep for a few hours. They're sleeping less and less now because they're getting older. Well, at least nobody's pooped in here since I cleaned up last. That's what outside's for, guys. I don't blame you. You got a pass for yesterday because of the weather. go and they've got nice fresh water in here bowl of nice fresh water out there not well water spring water from the store there we have it all right just by taking a few shovel loads out of this i've got it flowing you can see where the deep part is and that was all filled with water once i uh it's even flowing from the deep part but it's not gonna it's only gonna flow to a certain point till I dig the rest of this out. As you can see, she's a flowing. And she's flowing, hitting the corner, going down there. Let's get you in there.
Did you guys eat? What do you want from me now? Huh? Miss Oreo Jackson. <sighs> you guys are hooligans. All of you are hooligans. Hooligans. What's going on over there? That's dirty nose and toast has got to leave that she's going to put in the water. That's good. Because that was brand new water. Miss Dirty Nose. What's toast after now? You guys are goofy. All right, I'm going to let this drain off. Come out here tomorrow. Dig this last 10 feet. It's still flowing. Be easier without that water and then I'll still have this water here so I'll know how good this flows but I think I got it and then it's just a matter of letting it dry up running the pipe and uh, backfilling it with gravel yeah and then putting the dirt bag on and that's gonna help man it's really flowing good and there she goes down the hill just took a little bit of work. She's falling. We're gonna name it Dog Man Creek. I hit a tree root right there. I have no clue what that's from because there's no trees even close to here. little delinquents they got everything in there to play with I could think of jugs balls shoes you know all the normal stuff puppy dogs like all right guys that's about it for this one uh, appreciate y'all watching gonna get back out of here tomorrow and man this this whole area is a lot of work but I got to get it done so I feel a little better now if it rains again but there's still more to do in that corner we're gonna get to that so Thank you for watching. Happy trails.